Have you ever wondered if you've done something that no one else has ever done before? Accomplished something so great that no one could ever possibly replicate it? Well, if you have, it's probably for being the world's worst player in Rocket League. Rocket League has a lot of mechanics and cool tricks that players dedicate thousands of hours to try to perfect. However, some players go the extra mile and accomplish something so insane that almost no other player could ever hope to come close to. And that's what we'll be looking at in this video. Here are 8 absolutely insane Rocket League world records that are basically unbeatable. One thing about Rocket League that makes it so appealing to so many players is how short the games are. You can hop into any random game and usually expect it to be done in less than 10 minutes, just in and out. Now, what if a game was double that time, or even triple? What if you hopped into a game and it lasted 24 entire hours? This is what Sunless Khan, the GOAT of Rocket League, was able to accomplish in November of 2021. He hosted a charity stream with Lethemir and Paco in order to raise money for Mark Robert and Mr. Beast's Ocean Cleanup Initiative, where each dollar donated would clean up one pound of trash in the ocean. This stream was a legendary part of Rocket League history, with over 200 Rocket League content creators participating in the game. The game went so long that the replay feature stopped working after people scored, and the scoreboard eventually broke as well. The server eventually crashed about halfway into the 24 hours. <gasps> it's gone! But was rebooted to continue for another 12 hours. The final score ended up being 683 to 679, so a pretty even game despite how long it was. This was also simultaneously the biggest collaboration of Rocket League creators that has ever been hosted in Rocket League history, so this really was just a legendary game. Unless there's some absolute psychopath willing to spend 24 hours straight playing Rocket League, I just don't see this record ever being broken again. The air dribble is one of the most coveted and beloved mechanics in Rocket League. This mechanic is the first freestyle mechanic that so many players gravitate towards because it really shows off your car control and technical ability. However, this is one of the most difficult mechanics to truly master, and most players can barely manage to even keep the ball in the air for more than 3 seconds, which makes this record so absolutely insane. A player by the name of Fancy Duck was able to air dribble for 5 hours and 39 minutes. Over 5 hours. He streamed the entire air dribble live on YouTube in January of 2022, with Rizzo even hopping in the stream to watch with everyone else in awe. In order to fully realize how insane this record is, the record in 2018 for the longest air dribble was 34 seconds, and the previous record that Fancy Duck beat was 3 hours, so he's literally like a god at air dribbling. The amount of sheer concentration and pure skill this takes is unimaginable because at a certain point, your movements are just muscle memory and it becomes all about your determination to keep going. I just don't think anyone else is going to be able to sit down and air dribble for over 5 hours, let alone be able to do it in the first place, so this record will probably also never be broken. Really awesome record. In June of 2019, Johnny Boy hosted a stream with one goal in mind. That's right, Twitch chat. It is time to stack more than eight cars. <laughs> <laughs> to beat the world record he himself had broken before. Yes! To do this, he had to create a 5v5 tournament just to have enough players in the game at one time. Now, a lot of people may not even realize how incredibly difficult it is to actually stack cars on top of each other. First of all, each player must be using the Merc as it has the flattest and most easily stackable hitbox due to how boxy it is. The players also have to make sure to be as careful as possible jumping onto another car, as you can easily risk knocking someone off the stand and ruining the whole attempt. The players have to aerial perfectly just to barely land all four wheels on top of the car under him, which is way harder than it looks. Most players can barely even stack like three cars on top of each other, which makes what Johnny Boy did in his hour long stream absolutely incredible. He and his group of friends were able to stack nine cars on top of each other, and due to just how difficult this is to replicate, it's safe to say this is one of Rocket League's unbeatable world records. Now, this next record is a classic. In January of 2020, Musty, Spuda, and Verge set out on a mission to score the fastest goal possible in Rocket League. They allowed themselves only one hour in private matches in order to get this done. They started out their journey by trying to double pinch and triple pinch it off each other to build a lot of speed on the ball, but struggled to get even above 160 kph. 
However, they continued on and added Rumble to their private match in order for each player to generate way more power on the ball. They tried out a bunch of different strategies and combinations like performing a double pinch with the power hitter power up equipped on each person and using the power hitter in combination with the plunger. They kept slowly increasing their speed with each shot, getting above 210 kph with some of their attempts. However, by far their fastest attempt was when all three players used the punch power up at the same time. <laughs> yes! Getting a whopping 216 kph. They then decided that this was simply not enough. So through trial and error, they picked up the best possible mutators to get the most speed possible out of the ball. And Musty and Burge got ready on the goal line with their plunger power-ups equipped. Spudo shot the ball with his power hitter power-up, and Musty and Burge simultaneously used their plungers to whip the ball straight into the net. When the replay showed, they got a whopping 540 km per hour shot which was by far the fastest goal scored in Rocket League. They later discovered that they had actually found the speed cap, as the ball cannot physically go faster than that in unmodded Rocket League, so this record is literally unbeatable. Great job to Musty, Verge, and Spuda for attempting and filming this world record, one of the most classic records in Rocket League. Many Rocket League players dream of being able to play in the highest level of Rocket League gameplay, the RLCS. However, this is a dream only realized by a select group of extremely talented and dedicated players. These players work for hours every single day honing their craft, but some go even further. One such player was so extremely talented that against other professional Rocket League players, he was able to completely flex on his opponents to score the most goals in a single RLCS game by one player. That player is Fairy Peak, and in this legendary game between Veloce Esports and Renault Vitality in week 7 of RLCS Season 9, Fairy Peak absolutely wipes Veloce off the map with his performance. He starts off by scoring his first goal 20 seconds into the game, and then just does not stop scoring from there. He then scores 4 more goals in a row before Veloce even scores 1. Kato then gets one goal in himself, but Fairy Peak follows that goal up with three more goals of his own, making his total at the end of the game a whopping eight goals. He completely carried his team, literally scoring every single shot he took that game. You really don't see players scoring more than like even three goals in one RLCS match because of just how competitive it is. And a lot of players may not even have the ability to score as much as Fairy Peak did against other pro players. This is an incredibly hard thing to do in any threes match, but the fact that this was done in an RLCS official game is absolutely insane. So huge props to Fairy Peak for even being able to do that. However, they did get Brazil the very next game, so maybe that makes the record hit a little bit less hard. But I mean, I just don't see this record being broken for a very long time just because of how difficult this is to accomplish with how good players are today. The flip reset is another one of those mechanics that is a staple in Rocket League culture. Even being able to perform a single reset consistently is a sign that one has gotten a sort of mastery over their car control, which makes this next record absolutely insane. Now ever since players discovered that you could chain resets together by using stalls, people have been trying to see just how many flip resets are possible to do in a row. Extremely talented players practice for hours to be able to flip reset multiple times under the ball, pushing the limits to see just how many can be done. Specific Impulse is one such player, and in August of 2021, he broke the world record for the most number of chain flip resets in a row with 40 resets. To put into perspective how absolutely insane this is, he hit all of these resets in 24 seconds, which means he hit almost 2 resets every second of his attempt. The amount of time, dedication, and precision this takes is absolutely insane. You must have full mastery over your car, understand exactly how the stall mechanic works, which is already hard enough to hit consistently by the way, and have a quick enough reaction time to be able to get all the resets in before the ball hits the ground. The limited space between the ceiling and the ground makes this record even tougher, because it's not like you have an infinite amount of time to get the resets in due to gravity pulling the ball towards the ground. This record is absolutely incredible and a true show of talent in Rocket League and because of how little time there was in between each reset, I truly don't see this record being broken unless the ceiling got higher or something. Now, this next record is possibly the most contested and one of the most attempted world records out of any record on this list. The fastest ground pinch world record is a record sought after by so many players in this game. Due to the relative ease of access of this record as opposed to other records like the car stack where you have to have 9 other people. Essentially, for players who don't know, the ground pitch world record attempt is simply just performing a ceiling shot and then flipping into the ball as it makes contact with the ground to pinch the ball into the net as fast as possible. 
Freestylers and record seekers alike dedicate hours to perfecting their ground pinch strategies and to compete to see who can boom it the quickest into the net. The ground pinch has its own entire community surrounding it, with hundreds of people attempting to break the record. The first known recorded ground pinch world record was Pulsefire in 2019, with a whopping 183 kph, but that was later broken 6 months later and the record has steadily been increasing from there. Players competed for years to try and break each other's world records over and over again. However, one player by the name of LukeFast05 had an interesting strategy that not many other ground pinchers used. Instead of resetting his flip off the ceiling, he performed a flip reset instead, getting him a lot closer to the ball and allowing him to have better contact when hitting the ground. This set him apart from other players, and with this strategy, he became the first person to score a ground pinch in-game above 200 km per hour, with a 201 kph ground pinch in July of 2021. However, he had decided to be even more built different and broke his own record again right after with a ground pitch of 204 kph. This record still stands today and is by far the fastest ground pitch we have ever seen in game. I very much doubt this record will be broken anytime soon because since it's so difficult to even get above 200 kph, I doubt we will ever see a 205 plus. Huge congrats to LukeFast and shout out to the Iron Cheese because he made a great video about the history of the ground pitch world record that you should definitely check out if you're interested. Now finally, we have the Eversex Dribble Map world record. This was one of the most viral world record challenges because so many people attempted this map. The map itself is a set of 20 dribbling challenges that get progressively harder after each level. However, the thing about this map that made it so fun to play and watch was just how hard it was. Are you kidding? The first couple levels are fairly easy and most players could probably complete them, but it just gets so much more difficult from there. Countless streamers have tried and failed to even complete this map, and even more grand champions in SSL struggle to get past all the levels, which makes this world record actually insane. Some psychopath was able to complete every single level in 6 minutes and 25 seconds without dying once. To put this in perspective, I myself died over 100 times on level 8 alone, so... <laughs> It's, it's pretty hard. Being able to complete the entire thing without dying at all is actually incredible. This was accomplished by a French player named Alexit in October of 2021. The thing that makes this map so difficult is that it relies on so many mechanics and specific inputs on your car that you basically have to have mastery over your car control in order to complete this map. This map has dribbling, air dribbles, loop-de-loops, downhill slaloms, and even a giant death trap. The amount of time you need to put into this map in order to memorize the pass necessary on every level and the skill required to make adjustments periodically throughout the run is not something I think I could ever do in my life, so huge props to Alexit. I don't think this record will be broken for a long time, especially because of how popular it was in the past compared to its virality now, so there's a lot less people attempting this run, but it's still a very fun one to watch for sure. Okay. That concludes Rocket League's most unbeatable world records. Huge congrats to everyone who holds the records in these videos, you guys are actually cracked. Now this video took a ton of research to make so make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps me out. And let me know down below if I made any mistakes with the records because some videos are just like nowhere to be found on the internet. Now there's one world record you can break right now, which is to be the best viewer of Calvin is Bad News. And all you gotta do is...